Hello friends and welcome to a, another journal with me. Today we are going to be creating two spreads all about my summer essentials which will be all about the things that I want to do, kind of like a to-do list for summer because I get a big chunk of time off in the summer so yeah I'm really excited for that and I am going to be using my own Patreon rewards this time too so I'm just sharing those with you now. They are shell themed and I'm really happy with how they came out. I think that the colours are really cute. So you'll get one sheet of starfish, one of shells, a mini sheet of quotes. And then of course, you also get the girl stickers too. So you also get some other bits too included in the reward. So yeah, if you want to see those in more detail so you can see exactly what you will receive, then the link to my Patreon is in my description. And let's just get straight on to the journaling. So as I was saying, it's gonna be all about what I would like to do this summer. And because I'm a teacher, it means I get a big summer holiday. So there are some things that I want to try and kind of plan for this summer because a lot of these things are things that I've either said I'm gonna do like this year and I just haven't got round to it or things that I've said I would do in previous summers and also haven't done them. <laughs> So I'm just going to try and kind of get them down in my journal so when it does come to summertime I can keep coming back and looking at this list if I have any days where I'm not sure what to do or I'm just feeling a little bit uninspired. So one of the first things that I would like to do which seems like a very stereotypical summer activity is have a picnic and I've been saying for a very long time there's like this one part of the forest near me where it's really cool and I've never seen anyone else down there whenever I go so I feel like it's a really nice like secluded place to have a picnic so that is somewhere what I want to do I don't know if I want to go with like just me and my partner or if I want to go with like a group of friends but yeah that is one of the things I want to do and just spend the day there in the forest, eating snacks, enjoying the sunshine and the nature and I'll probably take my book or do some journaling as well and hopefully the nature around me can try and inspire my journaling too. So I definitely want to do that in the future and if I do get around to doing it, which I really, really want to do it, so I'm gonna say that I'm going to do it, then I will record it and make it into a video or add it into one of my future journal vlogs. The other thing that is on my list is I really want to do some more sun prints because I have done some in the past. I did them last summer but I kind of did it at the end. The clue is like kind of in the name, it's called a sun print so for it to actually create the print you need UV light and Obviously, I can only do that on really sunny days. That's something I also really want to have another go at and make the most of it because I have all the equipment for it and I really enjoyed actually doing it. So I don't know why I've not done it since. So I'll explain a little bit how a sun print works if you're not familiar with it. You essentially have a piece of glass and then you kind of mix all the chemicals together. There's like two different parts and then you have to paint it on the paper but you have to do it specifically in pitch black. So it's quite difficult to do in the dark and trying to transport it from darkness to then outside to put your things on the picture. But it's like doing a dark room print, but outside in the sun. And instead of having like a viewfinder for your film, the glass is essentially just the film that you're creating. And then it just makes a print directly onto the paper of whatever you're putting on top. So I usually add pressed flowers and leaves and things like that. And I do have a lot of those. And I thought it'd be fun to maybe use some of the flowers in my garden as another way to just document all the things that have been growing so far this summer. The prints always turn out blue, but it's like a really nice deep blue. And the specific term for sun prints is actually cyanotype. So maybe you recognize that name <laughs> instead. But basically before I trained to be a teacher, I went to university and did photography for three years because I used to spend a lot of time in the dark room and I only ever use film photography. So I don't really know how to use a digital SLR properly now. 
um, because I just spent all my time developing film and printing in the darkroom so it's kind of a way of getting back into that because I can't really do all of that stuff because I don't have the equipment so this is kind of like a nice fun way of going back to that hobby. I also recently got myself a Kindle so this is definitely going to be the summer of reading. I want to try and finish the Akatar series but it's most likely that I'll actually probably finish it before the summer because I only have two more books left and I'm currently halfway through one of them so I think I will actually finish them before so it'll be exciting to try and kind of think of a to be read for summer. I think I'm going to have a break from Sarah J Mass for the summer and then jump into the Throne of Glass series for the winter months. So I'm excited to get some like spooky witchy books for autumn as well. At the start of the video you might have seen that on my journal I added myself a journal charm and that's because I've recently been getting into resin crafts and I really wanted to use it to make some journal charms and I've been experimenting with pressed flowers so you will definitely see more of those in the future. I'm hoping to get some added to my shop in the autumn time or maybe even the summer if I end up making lots. So yeah, that's kind of my goal for the summer as well, to make a bunch of those and make the most of the sunshine again, trying to get them to dry outside. So yeah, I hope you like them. I've been having so much fun creating them. I'm still kind of getting the hang of things. It's not perfect. So I wanna be able to practice over the summer and get better at it. On the next spread, I wanted to go with a slightly different composition, so I covered the left hand side and this time I decided to use the ephemera from the Patreon rewards as like one big sheet of decorative paper rather than cutting or ripping them up and using them as little different bits of memos. So that was like a really easy way for me to just cover that whole side without thinking about having to put too much decoration down. Another thing that will be happening in the summer which is very exciting and I will be doing lots of journaling about it is I'm going to the Eras tour in London in August so that's super exciting so of course there'll be a lot going on in my journal about that because I will be documenting the whole process and I've been making lots of bracelets but I definitely need to make like a ton more so that's something else I'm gonna be busy doing at the start of summer. Another thing that I would like to do, which is kind of related to the forest that I live near, where I plan on having my picnic as well. I walk through this forest all the time, but I never go really early in the morning or at night time. So we go a lot at dusk and sunset, but we never seem to go at sunrise. So I really would like to go and see the sunrise in the forest, kind of experience what that's like. And it's also a really good time to see deer and lots of other wildlife that maybe we don't usually see because there's usually people around the times that we go. And I would like to also go at night time too to do some stargazing. We have done this before, um, but it was a bit scary to be honest. We went like really deep in the forest and the stars looked amazing, but I was getting like really spooked out. So maybe I would like to go more just in the evening time, not necessarily to see all the stars, but I think it'll be really fun to have a nighttime walk and listen to the wildlife because you'll hear things like owls and different nighttime creatures that are starting to come out. So that's one that I don't know if it will happen because me and my partner in the holidays are really bad for getting up early. Like we usually have like lots of lights <laughs> in the summer holidays, so that one is going to be a bit of a challenge, but I would really like to do it and I'm going to try and persuade him by saying we can just go back to bed when we get home <laughs> after we've been for our walk, but I think it will be worth it and it will be really nice if we pick a really nice day. Another thing I really want to do is I really want to visit a place called Chatsworth, which I have been to lots before, but it is where they filmed Mr Darcy's house from the Pride and Prejudice film but I have never been inside the actual like big manor so that's something that I want to do and try and create a whole travel journal with me video about it so hopefully that will be coming in the summer 
and I'm just so excited to see the room with all the statues in and everything. I'm not like a huge Jane Austen fan, but I did like the film and it'll be really interesting to have a look around and see what it's like inside because I have always wanted to go and have a little nosy around. So yeah, if you are a fan of that, then that'll be an exciting video for the future. Hopefully the weather is really nice too, so then we can have a picnic. And I have been before and swam in the lake that's nearby with some friends before, so that was really fun. So maybe I have to take another dip if the sun is out. So in the journal, I just kind of wrote about all these things. I spoke about the things that I wanted to do, maybe how I was going to do them, and I didn't go into too much detail. It was more just like little prompts and reminders for me to look back at. I really like this girl sticker on this page. I think she's one of my favorites because I love all the little shells I added in the, her hair and I also was a little bit inspired by Where the Crawdads Sing because I absolutely love that book and that film and it kind of reminded me of Kaya when she collects shells and paints them and draws them and I was just thinking about all the little summer trinkets when I was making this so that's why I wanted to add lots of shells and starfish in within all the girls because Kaya makes herself like a necklace and she often has things in her hair and just shells all over her house. So that was kind of the vibe that I was going for for this spread. I really like the colours as well. I feel like the colours that I chose aren't necessarily typical summer in a way. It's not like the first thing that you think of. Usually you're thinking of blue to do with the sea and beaches, but I decided to go with a slightly different colour palette and I'm really happy that I did. Of course, Ralph has to come and interrupt the video at some point so he just came and sat here whilst I was finishing my writing. Didn't seem to be too phased by me just pushing him out of the way. I also decided at the end of this video to add in a little mini stationery haul. A lot of the stuff isn't necessarily things that I have bought recently because I have been on a bit of a stationery ban but some of the stuff I bought for, I did buy thinking of summer spreads and things that I would do in summer. And luckily some of the things also go with some of the activities that I would like to do in the summer. So I thought I would also share those with you. These finished spreads, I'm really happy with them. And I think they both work really well together and also by themselves. You'll have to let me know which one is your favorite. So we have a little bit of a mix of pet tapes, washi tapes and sticker sheets. Some of these I have bought myself, some are from Penpal, so the best that I can I will tell you where they are from. But yeah, some of things I've been gifted by my Penpal, so I'm not exactly sure where they are from. So I got this washi sample and it's really green and cute and I just thought I would definitely use it for some sort of nature spread in summer and then the same with these little washi samples they're just very like summery plants and it's just things that I'll definitely be using in my journal throughout the summer. The one with the little clovers is maybe my favourite I just love the greens and I think that they're really cute. <laughs> So if you have any ideas what I can use these washi samples for in my spreads, like any particular spread, then let me know. Of course this one will be used for some of my era store journaling. And then I bought one, some of like the bee theme so that I could use it with a pen pal letter because I've got some really cute bee paper. And these are all from Artimation Co. And then I did buy this like celestial one because I knew that I'd be reading a lot of fantasy books. So I was thinking of future reading journal spreads. And then the final one is probably the one that I'll use for my picnic spread because it's just giving like summer picnic reading vibes. And then these washi tapes I got from Miso Paper, 
which is a online shop in the UK. So it's really good for me because I can buy stationery from different parts of the world that I can't usually purchase. And this cat one I had to get because it looks so cute and it reminds me of Ralph. This washi tape I really really like because it's kind of thinking about like nature journaling in a way and it's got all the pressed flowers and all the different leaves and things that I might collect during the summer. These are some of the samples that I put in my journal so that you can see and there are some other ones that I purchased but they aren't necessarily ones that I will use in the summer. But these are all by BGM and I got them all from Miso Paper. This washi tape is so cute and it's going to be perfect for summer journaling and summer pen pal letters. The sunflowers are also holographic so they're just so nice and the actual loop is super long so there's so many different designs that I can use so I just had to buy this one. As you know sunflowers are my favourite flowers and they just bring me so much joy. So that is all the goodies. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hopefully I will see you in the next one. If you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.